Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Um, today we're going to be uh, moving on to part four of our SharePoint series, and uh, we're going to be expanding on some of the connect and export functions in our task list. Um, right now we're going to be working through our connect to Outlook. Now, Outlook is a very powerful program. Uh, many people use it for emails and uh, meetings. Um, what uh, this task list will do is make use of the Outlook task list functions. Now the task functions are really great. Uh, they, are, they are useful in, uh, in a lot of ways because um, they obviously they integrate with some of the reminder functions in Outlook and uh, they can uh, pop up and give you a little bit more uh, detail in your regular communications tool. Uh, sometimes you may forget that uh, you have items in SharePoint and uh, it can be very helpful to have things integrated into Outlook so that they, uh, they come up and display uh, easily. So let's get started here. <clears throat> right now we're in our our uh, high-level task list and um, it's very simple you just go to that list tab and then go to connect to Outlook from here it'll pop up with uh, open Outlook so this is asking you to open up the full version if you don't have the full version um, you would want to download that uh, from wherever you you use that from um, and uh, and get it started um, now what it's going to ask you is it's going to say connect this SharePoint task list to Outlook. Okay, this is the task list that we're we're uh, using right now. This is the URL to that task list. Okay, uh, there's nothing in the advanced features that you need to change, but this is a little bit more detail about where this list is coming from. We can safely cancel out of that, and then uh, to uh, accept this list, we want to click on yes. Okay, now um, <clears throat> the list that comes up here, uh, generally it will show up right here, but I probably have to restart my Outlook for it to show up. Um, the, the idea here that you see is that it's just a very flat task list, okay? Whereas this one is nicely indented, a little more pretty, uh, better organized, and better views. So it's important to make that uh, that differentiation there. Okay, the Outlook task list is specifically to function to focus on things that are a little more important. So if I do this, for example, okay, I'll just take this this out. Okay, so if you think about where that task list is, is right there. Okay, I'm going to save it and close it. Okay, and then. I'm going to refresh the uh, screen, and you'll notice that that's gone. Okay, so I can I can make those edits in Outlook, which is really great. Um, that's uh, I, I'm again I'm using a familiar editor, and I'm a little more comfortable with uh, with Outlook than I am with SharePoint because uh, it's just familiar. Okay, um, I can change the percent complete. You know, so if I set that I'm 45% complete, and now maybe I change the uh, priority, make it a high priority, okay? But here's the other great thing about Outlook, is that I can say, because this thing is, is due today, okay, I'm recording on a Sunday, um, let's say that I wanted to have um, a reminder so let's say let's go back a couple of days on Friday or something like that. And I wanted to have a reminder at 8 a.m. Now, better yet, let's go forward. So let's pretend here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say that the uh, the task is going to finish on. Let's see, what's the date here? I'm going to say that's interesting. It's changing with my days here so it's going to complete on the 30th but I want a reminder on the 25th all right and that's kind of an important one there too now here's something else that's really interesting because the status uh, I have more information here that I can apply to my status as well um, I can say that it's in progress I can say that it's completed I can say that I'm waiting on someone else or that it's deferred 
okay? So those are really useful features as well. The one that, that can come up a lot, actually, and save you is um, waiting on someone else. If you're having trouble with uh, getting something done, sometimes that waiting on some, something else can help. All right, so let's click on Save and Close. Okay, let's see what happens when we bring it over here. Okay. So the good thing, the nice thing here is that nothing really affected anything with all those little setting changes that I did because it's all about what was uh, what was changed in an Outlook. Okay, um, <clears throat> we're still in progress. Priority is now high. Okay, that was something that I changed. Um, our budget hours are still there, just like it was in uh, in, uh, in in uh, in the list before. Uh, I've still got predecessors, just like I had before, so nothing really has been affected, okay? Except the fact that I, uh, I I can do a little bit more modifications to make things work, okay? Now let's take a look at some of the views that we have available to us. I wonder if there's anything available today, and there is, there actually is. So it shows me that requirements document is due today. Right now, that's helpful uh, in this in this case because I can just just like I had um, in uh, in the SharePoint list with some of the views that we we created earlier. Um, <clears throat> I would uh, I could do this and show show me what's what's uh, due today, okay, or due this week I should say. Very helpful, but it also has it in uh, in Outlook, okay. If I look at what's due in the next seven days, my requirement document is, is still um, is still uh, 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 due, but let's try let's try to do something like this here. Let's make this due date be um, be in the next seven days. We'll change that, okay? Um, and this is just changing my reminder, so it's, it's asking me to fix my reminder there, okay? say it's due on the 11th due date of task cannot occur before its start date due date was I changing that I guess maybe I was yeah okay so let's change that all right and we'll change that uh, so that we've got a reminder on the 10th okay great so this will now change it so that it uh, it shows that it's due within the next seven days. Okay. So again, these are important things to show. This is just different types of views that you can see. Um, we can look at the active tasks, uh, prioritized uh, task. We can look at. Um, I don't know if this is signed. No, it doesn't. Uh, this is where I'm the owner. I'm not the owner of, in, of these, I don't think. So, <clears throat> either way, different types of views. This one will show um, things to do today, this week, uh, this month, next month, later, right? Um, so again, really useful views of, of, of being able to, to, to look at something and say, okay, uh, just from a different view, I can manage this. And if you're already in Outlook, um, it's very easy to just look at that, uh, especially as the project manager or even for yourself and just look at it and say, okay, I've, uh, I, I can see what's happening and this is really valuable for you. Okay. All right. We'll close up Outlook. All right. So that was, uh, that was a short one, but, uh, most importantly, it's, it's really just thinking about how, uh, how other applications can be used to help you in your productivity and, uh, work to, uh, better your, your, uh, your, your, the information, get the information better to you. Okay. Um, so that's it for this one. A very easy, easy, uh, easy video today, but, um, Please remember to like and share, uh, really like your feedback, so uh, make some comments if you like, um, and uh, give me some suggestions for some more videos. The next video we're going to do is a series for reporting from Excel uh, in uh, from SharePoint. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.